Merseyside Derby, Wikipedia article audio. The Merseyside Derby is the name given to football matches between Everton and Liverpool, two major clubs from Liverpool, Merseyside, England. It is the longest running top flight derby in England, having been played continuously since the 1962 63 season. Part of the rivalry is due to the proximity of the two clubs, whose home grounds are within eyesight of each other across Stanley Park, Everton at Goodison Park and Liverpool at Anfield. History Friendly Derby Modern Day Derbies Tranmere Rovers Win-loss totals Records all-time goal scorers All-time appearances Clean sheets Top 10 attendances for league derby games Decade average attendances for derby games Games on neutral ground Penalties Crossing the park Scored for both sides in a derby Boyhood allegiances. Doing the double. Full list of results. Traditionally, the Merseyside Derby was referred to as the Friendly Derby because of the large number of families with both Liverpool and Everton supporters and was one of the few that did not enforce total fan segregation. The 1984 Football League Cup final at Wembley saw almost all sections of the ground mixed and combined chants of Merseyside, Merseyside, and Are You Watching Manchester? Since the mid-1980s, however, the rivalry has intensified on and off the field, and since the inception of the Premier League has had more red cards than any other game. Everton FC were founded in 1878 and from 1884 played their home matches at Anfield, which was owned by club chairman John Halding. Several board members of Everton were members of the Liberal Party who were associated with the National Temperance Federation whilst Halding was a Conservative Party member and a brewer whose business interests were diametrically opposed to the temperance movement. Politics and disputes over money meant that Halding was increasingly at odds with other members of the Everton board. The result was that in 1892 the Everton directors vacated Anfield and purchased a new ground at Goodison Park on the other side of Stanley Park. Halding responded by founding a new club to use Anfield, Liverpool. The professional clubs of the 1890s attracted much interest among the public, on and off the field. The 1867 Reform Act had given what would become football attending masses the opportunity to vote in the local and national elections. Everton and Liverpool attendances would reach around 10.15,000 in a local authority ward with a population of 23,000. Local politicians saw involvement in the two football clubs as an opportunity to gain media exposure to the local electorate. At Everton board level, the main friction that emerged was that between the retention of an autocratic ownership structure and the creation of a more democratic one which closely mapped the socio-political divide. Religion is sometimes put forward as a reason for the split with Liverpool founder Halding a prominent Orangeman and Everton's new chairman George Mahone a rival Liberal Home Rule advocating MP, but at the time of the split, among the Everton committee members, James Clement Baxter was the only Catholic, the rest were Protestants. There are a number of reasons for the friendly derby tag. Firstly the clubs are situated in the north of the city and very close to each other, with only Stanley Park separating the two. Everton actually played at Anfield, now Liverpool's ground, before a rent dispute with the ground owners saw Everton relocate to Goodison Park and the formation of Liverpool FC. 
From 1902 to 1932 the two clubs even shared the same match day program. Today there are no evident geographical, political, social or religious divides as in other derbies, although for many years a sectarian divide did exist within the city. It is unclear how this influenced the support bases of the two clubs and more recent research has indicated that it was more likely to have been a political allegiance that influenced support. During the 1950s and 1960s Everton became known as the Catholic club mainly as a result of successful Irish players Tommy Eglinton, Peter Farrell and Jimmy O'Neill as well as manager Johnny Carey. This in turn caused Liverpool to be thought of as Protestant club, not signing an Irish Catholic until Ronnie Wellen in 1979. However, it should be noted that this notional divide was never seen as a basis for supporting a certain side as is the case with Celtic and Rangers. In truth both teams have strong support from all denominations as well as many fans from Presbyterian North Wales, Northern Ireland, and Republic of Ireland. Most importantly, the actual clubs themselves did not act to strengthen sectarian divides and in fact both clubs stem from a Methodist origin. Unlike other local derbies, in Liverpool violence between Evertonians and Liverpudlians is a rarity, however, in the fallout from the Heisel Stadium disaster, fan relationships became strained, with Everton fans blaming Liverpool hooligans for their subsequent ban from European club competitions. However, relations improved after the Hillsborough disaster when both sets of fans rallied together with Evertonians even joining in on the boycott of the Sun while Everton and Liverpool scarves were intertwined stretching across Stanley Park between Anfield and Goodison Park. Recently, after the murder of 11-year-old Evertonian Rhys Jones in a gun crime incident in 2007, Liverpool Football Club invited the victim's parents and older brother to Anfield for a Champions League match. The Z Cars theme tune Johnny Todd, the song to which Everton traditionally run out, was played for the first time ever at Anfield while the victim's family stood on the pitch wearing Everton shirts and scarves. A standing ovation was given before You'll Never Walk Alone was played. Upon the complete vindication of Liverpool fans at the Hillsborough disaster in August 2012 Everton entertained Newcastle United at Goodison Park. The sides were lead out by two children wearing Everton and Liverpool shirts with the number 9 and 6 on the back. An announcer read out the names of all the 96 victims while he ain't heavy, he's my brother by the Hollies was played to a standing ovation. The city of Liverpool is statistically the most successful football city in England with Everton and Liverpool winning a combined 27 league titles, and there has never been a season without one of either Everton or Liverpool competing in the top flight. Both clubs have rich histories, with Everton being one of the 12 founder members of the Football League. Everton have only been relegated twice and have competed in over 100 seasons of top-flight football, more than any other English club. To date, Everton have won nine league championships, five FA Cups and one European Cup Winners Cup. Thus, they have the only UEFA trophy that Liverpool never won. Liverpool have won the European Cup five times more than any other English club, have 18 top-flight titles, have the FA Cup on seven occasions, the Football League Cup a record eight times, and three UEFA Cups. Since 1892, the clubs have appeared almost every year in the Liverpool Senior Cup, although Liverpool, Everton and Tranmere Rovers only field reserve sides against the likes of Prescott Cables, Southport and Marine. Everton hold 45 titles while Liverpool have won 39. Everton and Liverpool also have affiliated women's teams playing in the FA WSL. 
Most recently in 2013, Liverpool ladies won the FA WSL League and subsequently qualified for European competition for the next season. During the 1960s, Liverpool and Everton were regular winners of domestic trophies, but while Liverpool went from strength to strength in the 1970s and 1980s, Everton went through a relatively barren spell after their 1970 title triumph and did not win a major trophy for the next 14 years. Everton, however, started to emerge as a serious threat to Liverpool's dominance of the domestic scene following the appointment of Howard Kendall as manager at the start of the 1981-82 season. The first Merseyside derby that Kendall oversaw was at Anfield on November 7, when his side lost 3-1 to Bob Paisley S. This saw Liverpool standing 7th in the league and Everton 13th. An identical scoreline followed in the return game at Goodison Park in late March, by which time Liverpool had overcome a dismal start to the season to muscle in on a title race which they eventually won, while Everton were still mid-table. In 1982-83, the final season of Bob Paisley's management before he retired to make way for Joe Fagan, Liverpool were champions once again with Everton finishing mid-table, and the most notable of the two derbies occurred in early November when Liverpool triumphed 0-5 at Goodison Park. The return match at Anfield in mid-March brought a goalless draw. 1983-84 was the season when Everton really started to emerge as a serious threat to Liverpool. Though Liverpool won the league title and Everton still couldn't even make the top five, Liverpool needed a replay to see off Everton 1-0 in the League Cup final at Wembley. The Anfield Derby in early November saw Liverpool triumph 3-0, while the clash at Goodison Park four months later ended in a 1-1 draw. The 1984-85 season began with a Merseyside derby in the FA Charity Shield at Wembley, when league champions Liverpool faced FA Cup winners Everton in a game which Everton won 1-0 due to an own goal by Bruce Grobelar. The first league clash came on October 20, 1984 when a 0-1 win for Everton at Anfield saw Howard Kendall's team occupy fourth place in the league and show signs of challenging for the title for the first time in his four seasons in charge, while Liverpool were a lowly 17th and just two points outside the relegation zone. Liverpool's final game of the season came on May 23 when they lost 1-0 to Everton at Goodison Park. Everton had been crowned champions by this stage, while Liverpool had rallied since their terrible start to the season to occupy second place. 1985-86 was perhaps the most exciting season for the fans of both clubs, as Liverpool and Everton battled it out for both the league title and the FA Cup. The first Merseyside Derby of the season came at Goodison Park on September 21, 1985 and was won 2-3 by Liverpool, who stood second behind Manchester United while Everton occupied sixth place. Everton triumphed 0-2 in the return match at Anfield five months later, by which time Everton had just taken over from Manchester United as league leaders and Liverpool were eight points behind them in second place. The climax to this exciting campaign came at Wembley Stadium when Liverpool and Everton contested the first all-Merseyside FA Cup final on May 10, 1986. An early goal by Gary Lineker suggested that Everton could gain revenge on Liverpool for beating them to the league title by defeating them in the FA Cup final, but in the second half the tables were turned as a double from Ian Rush and another goal from Craig Johnston made Liverpool only the fifth English club to complete the double. The FA charity shield for 1986 was shared between Liverpool and Everton, who drew 1-1 at Wembley but the first league derby of the season between the two clubs did not happen until late November in a goalless draw at Goodison Park. 
Both clubs were challenging for the title at this stage alongside Arsenal, Nottingham Forest and unlikely contenders Luton Town and Coventry City. The League Cup quarter-final on January 21, 1987 saw Liverpool win 0-1 at Goodison Park. The Anfield Derby in late April saw Liverpool triumph 3-1 but it was not enough to prevent Everton from winning the title within the next couple of weeks. The 1986-87 season was the last time that Everton overshadowed Liverpool until Everton's dominance over their local rivals between 2012 and 2014. In the 1988-89 season, Everton were Liverpool's first opponents in a competitive game after the Hillsborough disaster on April 15, 1989, which resulted in the deaths of 96 Liverpool fans at the FA Cup semi-final. The game between the two sides was a league fixture on May 3 which ended in a goalless draw. On May 20, the two sides met at Wembley for the second All-Merseyside FA Cup final in four seasons. The match went into extra time before Liverpool triumphed 3-2, with Ian Rush and John Aldridge scoring for Liverpool and both of Everton's goals coming from Stuart McCall. By 1990-91, Everton were in something of a slump, while Liverpool finished second in the league, but the campaign still brought one of the most pulsating clashes between the two clubs. Liverpool and Everton were drawn for the FA Cup fifth round at Anfield on February 17, 1991. The match ended in a goalless draw, and the replay three days later ended in a thrilling 4-4 draw at Goodison Park, in which Peter Beardsley scored twice. 1990-91 was Kenny Dalglish's last season as Liverpool manager as he resigned two days after the 4-4 draw with Everton. It was also the last season of replays of replays as penalties after extra time took over as the competition's ultimate tie-winner decider for the 1991-92 season. The second replay ended with a 1-0 win for Everton on February 27, and ended the Reds' double hopes. The close season of 1991 saw Peter Beardsley move from Liverpool to Everton, followed within a year by defender Gary Ablett, causing more tension in the Merseyside Derby, though the first couple of years after their transfers saw Liverpool and Everton firmly overtaken by Manchester United and the likes of Blackburn Rovers and Arsenal as the biggest challengers in English football. On December 7, 1992, Everton defeated Liverpool 2-1 at Goodison Park in a game where Peter Beardsley became only the second man in history to score for both clubs in the Derby. The 1993-94 Derby at Anfield saw Liverpool defeat Everton 2-1 not having much effect for a mid-table Liverpool side but increasing the risk of relegation for Everton. Perhaps the most notable event of this game was the winning goal by Robbie Fowler, who turned 19 the following month and was one of the most promising young players in England at the time. The next notable City Derby came on October 18, 1997, when Everton triumphed 2-0 at Goodison in a victory that ultimately saved them from relegation and helped end Liverpool's title bid. The 2001 season saw one of the most exciting derbies of the Premier League era. Liverpool, having won the first derby at Anfield, completed the double with a thrilling 2-3 victory over Everton at Goodison in April with the injury time winner by Gary McAllister proving to be crucial at the end of the season in helping Liverpool qualify for the UEFA Champions League which replaced the European Cup in 1992 for the first time. By the end of the 2001-02, Liverpool had finished above Everton in the league for 15 seasons in succession, but 2002-03 saw Everton showing signs of eclipsing them for the first time in years. 
After a brilliant run of form saw Liverpool top the Premier League in October, an 11-match winless league run followed their 2-0 home win over West Ham United in early November and during that barren spell they drew 0-0 at home to an Everton side who were actually above them and looking like qualifying for Europe after several seasons of persistent relegation battles. However, they were on course for their fifth-place finish when they next met Everton on April 19 and won 1-2 at Goodison Park, a result which pushed their city neighbours towards seventh place and narrowly deprived them of European football. In 2004-05, Everton finished fourth in the league and Liverpool came fifth the first time since Everton's 1987 title win that Liverpool had finished below them. In a season which saw Liverpool win the Champions League title, Everton gave their neighbours a reminder of how far they had progressed under the management of David Moyes with a 1-0 win at Goodison Park on December 11, 2004, though Liverpool won the return match at Anfield 2-1 three months later. Everton had a setback and finished mid-table in 2005-06, while Liverpool's compensation for their prolonged title wait came in the form of a narrow FA Cup final triumph. And Liverpool triumphed 3-1 in both of the Merseyside derbies that season. In 2006-07, Everton recovered to finish in the top six, while Liverpool finished in the top four and there was an early season triumph for the blue half of Liverpool as Everton crushed Liverpool 3-0 at Goodison Park in early September. They also held them to a goalless draw at Anfield in early February and helped hold them behind pace setters Manchester United and Chelsea. Liverpool did the double over Everton in 2007-08. However, the meeting at Goodison Park was shrouded in controversy when after a coming together between Liverpool's Steven Gerrard and Everton's Tony Hibbert, referee Mark Clattenburg awarded Liverpool a penalty and seemed to change his mind in favour of a red card for Hibbert after Gerrard appeared to have said something to him, when most pundits felt a caution would have been sufficient. Everton dominated the game after going behind but were denied what seemed to be two clear penalties in the closing stages of the game when Jolien Lescott was twice wrestled to the ground by Jamie Carragher at Everton Corners. The victory helped secure a top-four finish and Champions League qualification for Liverpool, leaving Everton to settle for a UEFA Cup place. Referee Clattenburg was not chosen to officiate again at Goodison Park after that match until December 2013, six years later, and in that period only officiated one Everton game, away at Aston Villa. In the 2008-09 season, Liverpool and Everton met four times. Liverpool winning the league encounter at Goodison Park 0-2 while drawing the other league fixture that dealt a severe blow to their title ambitions. The FA Cup saw Everton defeat 10-man Liverpool in extra time in the replay thanks to an injury time winner by Dan Gosling after a 1-1 draw at Anfield. That season, both teams were a major force as Liverpool challenged for the title while Everton came close to qualifying for the Champions League and progressed to the 2009 FA Cup final, only to fall to Chelsea. The longest unbeaten derby game run in all matches is 16, held by Liverpool 2011 to present. The longest unbeaten derby game run in home matches is held by Liverpool with Everton failing to win in the league for 18 games starting in 2000 and continuing. The longest unbeaten derby game run in away matches is held by Everton with a 16-match run at Anfield between 1899 and 1920, which included 10 victories. The longest unbroken winning run at home belongs to Liverpool with five between 1932-33 and 1936-37. The longest unbroken winning run away from home belongs to Everton, 
who scored seven consecutive victories at Anfield between 190809 and 1914-15. Recent games have been marred by sendings off, and the fixture has seen 21 red cards in the Premier League, the highest tally for any fixture. Former Liverpool captain Steven Gerrard and former Everton captain Phil Neville have both seen red twice in derby games. The record home victory in a league match is 6-0 recorded by Liverpool at Anfield in the 1935-36 season, the record away victory in a league match is 5-0 recorded by both Everton at Anfield in the 1914-15 season and by Liverpool at Goodison Park in the 1982-83 season. The highest scoring match was in 1932-33 when Liverpool won 7-4 at Anfield. Neville Southall of Everton holds the record for most derby appearances. Ian Rush of Liverpool holds the mark for the most derby goals with 25, overtaking Dixie Dean of Everton's long-standing record when he scored two goals in Liverpool's 3-2 win over Everton in the second All-City of Liverpool FA Cup final in 1989. William C. Cuff of Everton holds the record for the most wins as a manager with 16 wins over Liverpool from 1901 to 1918. Tom Watson of Liverpool holds the record for the most losses as a manager with 21 defeats to Everton from 1896 to 1915. Record attendance, 78,599 at Goodison Park. September 18, 1948, lowest attendance, 18,000 at Anfield, January 19, 1901. Abel Xavier 2002 pound 750,000, Nick Barmby 2006 pounds million, Dave Hickson 1959 pound 12,000, Tony McNamara 1957 pound 4 comma 000 John Hayden 1949 no fee Bill Harthill 1936 Jack Balmer 1935 no fee Thomas Johnson 1934 Frank Mitchell 1919 Bill Lacey 1912 part of exchange deal for urine Andrew Hanna captain with both Everton and Liverpool Tom Gracie 1912 part of exchange deal for urine, Arthur Berry signed first for Liverpool in 1906, then played for Wrexham, Fulham and Oxford University before signing for Everton. He returned directly to Liverpool from Everton for a brief spell in 1912, Don Sloan 1908 no fee, David Murray 1904. Abe Hartley 1897, Alex Latta 1896, Fred Geary 1895 pound 60, John Whitehead 1894, one of six players to have played for three different Merseyside clubs, Patrick Gordon 1893, Duncan McLean 1892, Thomas G. Wiley 1892. Andrew Hanna played for Renton in between, Edgar Chadwick played for Blackburn Rovers and Burnley in between, David Johnson, played for Ipswich Town in between, returned to Everton after playing for Liverpool, Neil McBain played for St Johnstone in between. He also played under bizarre circumstances one game for New Brighton, as manager he played one game in goal due to an injury crisis at the age of 52, becoming the oldest player ever to play in a league game. He is one of six players to play for three different Merseyside clubs, Steve McMahon played for Aston Villa in between. He is also one of only two players to have captained both Everton and Liverpool, Darren Potter Everton youth player who never made a first team appearance, played for Blackburn Rovers in between. Billy Scott played for Leeds City in between. Gary Ablett 1992 pound 750,000, 
Peter Beardsley 1991 1 million pounds, was Everton's most expensive signing from Liverpool, Alan Harper 1983 100,000 pounds, though on Liverpool's books, he never made a first team appearance, Kevin Sheedy 1982 pound 100 comma 000, David Johnson 1982 100,000 pounds, started at Everton, went to Ipswich Town then Liverpool then back to Everton, Johnny Morrissey 1962 pound 10 comma 000, Jimmy Payne 1956 pound 5 comma 000, Dick Forshaw 1927 only player to win the league championship with both clubs, Harold Urine 1912 part of exchange deal for Lacey and Gracie, Benjamin Howard Baker C.1910 David Burroughs played for West Ham United in between, Don Hutchison played for West Ham United and Sheffield United in between, Dave Watson played for Norwich City in between, John Goodman played for Aston Villa in between, Sander Westerfeld played for Real Sociedad and Portsmouth in between, Arthur Berry played for Wrexham, Fulham and Oxford University in between Everton, returned to Liverpool for a brief spell in 1912. David Johnson famously scored on his Derby debut for Everton in November 1971, then scored two Derby goals during his spell with Liverpool, the last of them on March 1, 1980. Peter Beardsley added to his tally of six Derby goals for Liverpool with one for Everton on December 7, 1992. When the sides met in the 2009-10 season, both clubs were suffering from a disastrous start to the season. Both games followed similar patterns, with Everton enjoying the greater possession and creating more chances in the games, but it was Liverpool who scored the goals in a 0-2 victory at Goodison Park and 1-0 at Anfield, the latter thanks to a goal from Dirk Kutt. In the Goodison Park encounter on October 17, 2010 in the 2010-11 season, Everton won 2-0 with goals from Tim Cahill and Michael Arteta, while the return league game at Anfield in January 2011 ended in a 2-2 draw. In the 2011-12 season, Liverpool and Everton met three times, twice in the league and once in the FA Cup with Liverpool winning all three. The first meeting took place on October 1, 2011, with Liverpool winning 0-2 in the league at Goodison Park against an Everton side depleted by Jack Rodwell S. Early, controversial red card, which was later rescinded by the Football Association. On March 13, 2012, Liverpool won the Anfield fixture 3-0 after a hat-trick by Steven Gerrard, who became the first player to score a hat-trick in the Derby since Ian Rush in 1982. The third meeting of the season was the FA Cup semi-final at Wembley on April 14. Everton took the lead through Nikika Jelavic's goal in the first half. Liverpool equalised through a Luis Suarez goal midway through the second half, and Andy Carroll scored the winning goal for Liverpool in the 87th minute. However, despite Liverpool having success throughout the season against their traditional rivals, Everton finished one place higher than Liverpool at the end of the Premier League season. Matches between Everton slash Liverpool and Tranmere Rovers based in Birkenhead on the other side of the River Mersey, are also classed as Merseyside derbies, but as Tranmere have spent all of their history outside the top flight, competitive matches are a rarity. They have occasionally faced Everton and Liverpool in cup competitions. Their last meeting with both clubs came in the FA Cup in 2001. Tranmere caused an upset by beating Everton 3-0 in the fourth round, before losing 4-2 to Liverpool in the quarter-finals. Statistics are correct as of January 5, 2018. 
This derby is responsible for many records across all derby matches, largely due to it being contested so many times. The following are records just for the Merseyside Derby itself. The following have scored four or more league goals in the Derby. This includes Premier League matches, its predecessor the Football League First Division, FA Cup, League Cup, and Charity Shield. The Screen Sport Super Cup goals are also included for Rush and Sharp although this was a competition which was not high on Liverpool or Everton's agenda. This list is up to and including January 6, 2018. Current Scorers Liverpool's Daniel Sturridge is the leading scorer among current players. Other current players with derby goals are Liverpool's Sadio Mane and Afakarigi with two goals each plus Danny Ings, Mohamed Salah, and from Everton Kevin Miralas, Phil Jagieka, Matthew Pennington, Wayne Rooney, and Jelfi Sigurdsson all with one goal each. Goals from overseas players, a total of 30 non-British players from 19 different countries have scored in the derby since Liverpool's Craig Johnston became the first such player to do so in the 1986 Cup Final. Most recently Everton's Jelfi Sigurdsson added the newest country to this list. Everton's Tim Cahill and Liverpool's Dirk Kutt, who both left their respective clubs after the 2012 season, along with Luis Suarez, who left Liverpool in 2014, are the leading overseas players with five goals each. Dafakarigi and Sadio Mane are the current leading overseas scorers with two each. France leads the way with five different scorers, but Australia is just behind. More goals than years, Liverpool's Fred Howe and Everton's Tommy Lawton bear the curious distinctions of scoring more goals than they actually spent in years in the city of Liverpool. How scoring five goals in three years and lot and four goals in three years. Hat tricks. The first derby hat trick was scored by Everton's Alex Sandy Young, who scored four in the 1904 5 1 win at Goodison. Other Everton Ians to manage hat ticks include Parker in 1914 and Dixie Dean twice, in 1928 and 1931 the last Everton player to net a treble. Liverpool hat-tricks have come from Chambers, Forshaw, Barton, and Howe. Almost 50 years passed before the next derby hat-trick, scored by Ian Rush, who scored four in a 5-0 win at Goodison in 1982, and then another 30 years passed until Steven Gerrard scored a hat-trick against Everton at Anfield in a 3-0 win. Curiously, of all the league hat tricks, only two were managed at Goodison, all the others were at Anfield. Own goals Sandy Brown's famous own goal in Everton's championship winning 1969 70 season was, surprisingly, only the second own goal in the history of the fixture, the first having been scored by Balmer in 1902. Since then, Eight Everton Ians have been credited with an own goal, including two in the same match at Anfield in 1972. There have only been three Liverpool own goals. Leighton Baines' s unlucky deflection at Goodison in 2012-13 is the most recent of all Derby Day own goals. Scoring in consecutive matches, between May and September 1986, Ian Rush scored for Liverpool in four consecutive derbies, none of them league games. Several players have scored in three consecutive games, Hardman, Freeman, Parkinson, King, Leinker, Barnes, and Fowler. Youngest derby goal scorer, although difficult to verify, since birth dates of early players are not known, the youngest derby goal scorer is probably Everton's Danny Catamartery who scored the winner at Goodison six days after his 18th birthday, in October 1997. League Games Only 
Highest ever attendance 100,000 estimate at 1984 Milk Cup Final and 1984 Charity Shield. Highest attendance at Anfield 56,060 for the 1962-63 league game. There have been 12 derby games played on neutral grounds, 6 at Wembley, 4 at Main Road and 1 each at Villa Park and Old Trafford. Since the war Everton have been awarded just two penalties in Anfield derbies, while Liverpool have had 11 at Goodison of which three have been missed. A full list is available at https slash slash www.evertonresults.com slash derbypens.htm Despite the huge rivalry, Liverpool have completed more direct transfers with Everton than any other club. However, Liverpool did not buy directly from Everton between 1959 and 2000, while there was a similar freeze in the other direction between 1961 and 1982. The phrase crossing the park refers to Stanley Park, which separates the two grounds. Dave Hickson, John Hayden and Frank Mitchell are the only three players to have played for Liverpool. Everton and Tranmere Rovers, the three main Merseyside clubs still in existence. New Brighton were football league members from 1923-51, Bill Lacey and Neil McBain played for all three of Everton, Liverpool and New Brighton. John Whitehead played for Liverpool, Everton and also for Boodle in their one year as a league team before they were replaced in Division 2 by local rivals Liverpool FC. The list below shows transfer dates and fees, where known. Everton then Liverpool The following played for another slash other club before moving to Liverpool. Liverpool then Everton The following played for another slash other club before moving to Everton as well as players crossing the park, Everton's first ever manager, William Edward Barclay, stayed on at Anfield after Everton moved to Goodison Park to become Liverpool's first manager. Only two players have scored for both sides in a Merseyside derby. Liverpool's Everton Eons Everton's Liverpudlians it is a rarity for either team to beat the other in both league games of a season, it is a feat managed by Liverpool 15 times and Everton 9 times, in what is known as the double. With the occasional meeting at Wembley, both Everton and Liverpool have completed a treble, in which a victory has been achieved three times in a season. Everton Liverpool with cup games, replays, and so on, the two have often met three or four times a season, but in the 1986-87 season, they played each other six times, starting with a 1-1 draw at Wembley in the Charity Shield, there were the two league games, the two-legged screen sports Super Cup final, and a League Cup fifth round tie. Despite the fact that Everton finished the season as champions, they could not beat Liverpool that year, with four losses and two draws. A combined total of 281,356 spectators saw the six matches. The following season they met a further four times, being paired in both cups, honours were even with two wins each. Liverpool have achieved the most Premier League doubles over their city rivals Everton, doing so four times in the last ten years. Everton have yet to do the double over Liverpool in the Premier League Their last league double over Liverpool was in 1985 where they won at Goodison and Anfield to complete a treble for that season, having also won at Wembley in the Charity Shield. Fixtures from 1894 to the present day featuring League Games, FA Cup, League Cup, Charity Shield and Super Cup. Testimonial matches are listed separately. Other friendlies and interwar fixtures are not included.
testimonials.